If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Tory Lanez finally breaks his silence when he talks about the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. And Travis Scott releases a new song with Young Thug and M.I.A. Plus, Jaguar Wright says that Mary J. Blige is a lesbian. Let's talk hip-hop. Alright, so this whole situation is crazy, right? Um, Alright, so let's just recap real quick. Y'all know Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion have this whole thing going on, right? So a little over a month ago, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion were leaving a pool party and then they got into an argument inside of a vehicle. Shots rang out and Megan Thee Stallion caught a bullet in her foot or something, right? Um, Anyway, Megan Thee Stallion went on Instagram and she said, yeah, I had glass in my foot. It was crazy. I went to the hospital. They did surgery. Then she came back a couple days later and said, you know what? Fuck that. Let me stop trying to protect Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez shot me in both of my feet and I want to air him out, right? Crazy as hell. That's when everybody was like, what? Tory Lanez shot you? Ba 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 ba, right? Tory Lanez hasn't said anything the whole time. He's been completely silent until yesterday where Tory Lanez about 4.30 around, you know, in the middle of the day went on Twitter and Instagram with the same message, right? So Tory Lanez said to my fans, I'm sorry for my silence, but respectfully, I got time today 9 p.m. right so here's what I'm thinking. At 9 p.m., Tory Lanez is gonna go on Instagram and he's gonna do like a Q&A and he's gonna talk to people and give them his side of the story just like Megan Thee Stallion did, right? But he didn't do that. So at 9 p.m., he did go on Instagram and on Twitter, but what he did was he announced a brand new album. So while this is going on, Tory Lanez is like, fuck that, I'm putting out new music, right? Crazy as hell. So anyway, on his new album, uh, there's a song called Money Over Fallouts, right? And basically, on that song, um, he has a lot to say about the complete uh, situation about Megan Thee Stallion, right? So what he does is he's saying that, you know what, Megan Thee Stallion is trying to set me up, that I did not shoot her in the foot, right? He's saying that there are other people in the vehicle and whatever happened, happened. He doesn't go into detail about what really happened, but he says that he doesn't want to because he might affect the outcome and he knows that in the end of everything that he'll be found innocent, right? He has some questions. He said, well, why did I only get charged for having a gun and not charged for shooting the gun if I shot her, right? He also said, how did you not get you know, any broken bones in your foot or, you know, any ripped tendons or anything in your foot like that if you got shot in the foot, right? Um, and he's presenting all these questions that a lot of people on the internet already had. I mean, it's just crazy because what Tory Lanez is saying and what Megan Thee Stallion is saying is completely different, right? I, you know, there's three sides to every story. There's his side, her side, and the truth, but both their sides are not even kind of sounding even a little bit together, right? Um, anyway, so a lot of people on Twitter wasn't here for the fact that Tory Lanez had to drop an album to talk about his side of the story. As a matter of fact, most people were offended and disgusted about the whole situation, right? One of the people that was offended and disgusted about the situation is Asian Doll, right? Um, and she's here to protect black women, even though Asian Doll is not Asian, she's black. But anyway, so she says, if that was me, uh, you wouldn't even have uh, lips uh, to rap about shit or your face would have been in your lap the moment you decided you wanted to shoot me in the foot, you bitch ass nigga. Right, which you know, I, I feel her. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to defend Megan Thee Stallion here, right? Um, another person that was very upset about the whole situation was Rick Ross. Tory Lanez, poor decision, brother. Dropping that project, just out of respect for Breonna Taylor. Just out of respect for Breonna Taylor, brother. We gotta respect these sisters. That ain't how you address the accusations you're facing with the sister. That was a poor choice, homie. You ain't getting no money with that shit. So Rick Ross responds to Tory Lanez and says, that was a poor choice what you just did, right? Out of respect for Breonna Taylor, out of respect for every black, yo mama, out of respect for every black woman, uh, you shouldn't address the situation like that, right? Rick Ross doesn't claim to know what happened, but he said, listen, if you want to address this with this sister, do it a different way, but dropping a new project and trying to get money off of what's going on right now is definitely in poor taste is what Rick Ross was saying. And he said, you ain't finna make no money off of that, um, which is crazy 
crazy because I agree with Rick Ross, but the thing is that Tory Lanez probably will make money off of that because everybody wants to hear it and hear what he has to say. Right now, Tory Lanez is kind of living in that 6 9 area where it's like people will listen to your shit not because they want to hear you, not because they like you, not because you are their favorite artist, but they just want to hear this crazy ass shit that you got to say about this drama, right? Um, it, it's almost like watching a train wreck. You don't want to see it, but you do want to kind of see it, right? Um, so anyway, uh, Tory Lay, uh, Rick Ross is not one of the only people that has something to say about this entire project, right? So somebody else that has something to say about this project is a stylist that works with Megan Thee Stallion and also other people on Megan Thee Stallion's team, like her friends and her, you know, uh, people from her team, right? So anyway, this uh, stylist actually went on Instagram and said, uh, I wanna say this and I won't say anything else about this, but I've provided clothes for Megan Thee Stallion when I first opened up my boutique and there's been plenty of times that uh, Tory Lanez was around Megan Thee Stallion and Megan Thee Stallion got very drunk, very disrespectful and physically abusive towards Tory. Now, I'm not saying that Megan Thee Stallion is lying about what happened because I wasn't there, but uh, I was in her condo uh, the previous day when I dropped off some clothes to her and she was indeed drunk and getting very aggressive with Tory Lanez. I feel like it's three sides to every story because something is just not right here. And before y'all start going, oh, protect black woman, I'm a black woman too, and Megan is heaven sent and most definitely an amazing person, but she's still grieving her grandmother and her mother she abuses alcohol and she turns into a completely different person when she does but you guys will see when Kelsey uh, when Kelsey speaks um, when Kelsey speaks and she will be speaking very soon now, if y'all don't know Kelsey is Megan Thee Stallion's friend who was actually in the vehicle with Megan Thee Stallion Tory Lanez and Tory Lanez bodyguard when all that shit went down right um, anyway so this style stylist says I saw Kelsey in person yesterday at as I dropped off close to her, uh, but she has a story to tell, and all I'm gonna tell you is it's not too far from what Tory Lanez said, right? Um, which is crazy, right? So that's just somebody else who knows them and is very close to the situation that's kind of saying, yo, don't be too quick to crucify Tory Lanez because what he's saying is kind of true, and maybe Megan Thee Stallion didn't get shot in the foot or whatever, right? Um, anyway, so High Snobriety, which is a publication, a magazine, y'all should know High Snobriety, uh, they came out and they said, this will be the last time we cover any Tory Lanez story, right? Um, they said, the rapper just added to his list of disgraceful behavior by dropping a mu uh, most toxic album of the year. He recently became um, a, mu uh, a music industry Parish after Megan Thee Stallion revealed that he shot her during an incident that led to his arrest on July 12th. However, rather, uh, rather than publicly apologizing to Megan Thee Stallion or addressing the issue, he released the album instead, using the media attention from shooting her to promote his work, right? Uh, which is crazy as hell. So certain publications are now cutting their ties with uh, Tory Lanez, right? Uh, all this is insane. That's what's going on right now. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, but Tory Lanez finally speaks um and it's just crazy man but uh what do y'all think about this in the comments let me know Joe, so Travis Scott just released a new song, right, called Franchise. Got Young Thug in it, M.I.A., and the song is pretty dope, right? But it's just funny as hell because now M.I.A. is trending on Twitter, right? So I'm thinking, all right, cool, M.I.A. trending on Twitter. She on this new shit. We haven't heard from M.I.A. in a minute, right? Last time she was uh, on a song with, like, Jay-Z and this shit. All I wanted, boom, psh, psh, she, had, she had something with, like, T.I. or something or whatever the case may be, right? Anyway, so I listened to the song, and I'm like, all right, now, now, the song is cool uh, and uh, MIA's flow is dope, but I was just having a hard time understanding what she was saying though, right? But you gotta understand that MIA is, she's British, right? So of course, you know, her rapping style and flow and swag is gonna be a little different from ours, but Twitter was not here for it, right? So people immediately started clapping at uh, 
<laughs> this girl MIA and was like, yo, you are trash, right? So, of course, Travis Scott body this, right? Young Thug body this. Then they got uh, MIA looking like a damn goofball, right? Um, somebody said, yeah, yo, MIA, what the fuck is this shit? Your ghostwriters speak English or nah? And then puts a clip of the lyrics that just really looks crazy, right? So Twitter, of course, had a field day. They were dragging her up and down. But like I said, the verse is not that bad, right? And in her verse, she's actually going back and forth with Travis Scott. So Travis Scott will rap two bars. She'll rap four. Travis Scott will rap four. She'll rap two. Like, they're going back and forth, right? Um, which I thought was pretty dope. Jada Kiss and Styles P used to do that back in the day. Um, but, you know, Travis Scott and MIA are definitely not JD Kiss and Styles P. Uh, but it's just funny as shit, man. Listen to this song and let me know what y'all think about the verse. I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary? Other than play dress up and eat snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out you're gay. And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. And if you got the heart, let's do the verses. Or if you want to apologize to me for the way you tried to destroy my career at its very beginning, you can do that too. Fuck you and fuck Hank Shockley and fuck your sister, bitch. All right, so this is crazy, right? Because I think Jaguar Wright is trying to uh, get like a versus battle going on between her and Mary J. Blige, but this is definitely not the way to do it. Also, I think Mary J. Blige should be against somebody like Lauren Hill or Faith Evans and not no Jaguar Wright, right? But anyway, Jaguar Wright is a neo-soul singer from Philadelphia, right? And you saw her there, the whole situation is she's mad at Mary J. Blige and accusing her of quote-unquote eating snatch. But let's take it back a little bit, right? So a couple months ago, Jaguar Wright actually did an interview and she said that she was on tour with like the Roots and Common years and years ago and that Common tried to sexually assault her while she was sleeping. It was really weird, right? Um, and then also Jaguar Wright tried to say that she, just from having a conversation with Summer Walker, she could tell that Summer Walker had been sexually assaulted or raped back in the day, right? Uh, why would she publicly say that? And that was crazy because whether or not Summer Walker was sexually assaulted uh, doesn't mean that you should go in the public and say something about it, right? If someone Walker was or was not, whenever she feels like she's ready to say something about it or not is when she will, right? Not for you to take whatever personal information you suspect about Summer Walker and then put it out to the public. Who are you to put Summer Walker's personal information out there, right? Since then, Summer Walker has denounced Jaguar, right? But now more of the same is going on because She's coming at Mary J. Blige, right? Now, we've seen Mary J. Blige have a few heterosexual relationships, but now she's calling Mary J. Blige a lesbian. Whether Mary J. Blige is a lesbian, heterosexual, or bisexual really doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's, it's none of my business. Again, we've known Auntie Mary for a very long time, right? So Mary J. Blige could do whatever the fuck she wanna do, right? If, ja if Mary J. Blige is a lesbian, if she just likes to have, you know, pussy maybe twice a year, whatever the case may be, that's her business. But whether Jack or Wright knows that to be a fact or whether she's speculating, she shouldn't do that anyway. You don't out somebody, right? You wait for them to do it if they feel like doing it. That could be dangerous for Mary J. Blige. It could be dangerous for her family, people around her. It could be dangerous if she's on the street and somebody is a homophobe. You never know what could be the situation, right? And until Mary J. Blige is ready to come out if she is a lesbian or not, is she should be the only time that we hear it, not from somebody else who knows Mary J. Blige's information and then is like, well, I'm just gonna go around you and put your shit out on front street, right? That's crazy, that's irresponsible, that's some bullshit, that's weird, that's, you know, it's everything, right? Um, so Jaguar Wright is dead wrong, 
wrong about this situation um but of course she won't apologize and she's trying to get a versus battle going on with mary j blige which is why she's going about it like this but usually people that do versus battles together are friends right snoop dogg and dmx were friends fabulous and jd kiss were friends right so two people that are really truly enemies do not really do a versus battle with each other because y'all wouldn't be able to be in the same room if mary j blige was in the same room with you my nigga she ain't trying to play record she probably gonna molly wipe your motherfucking ass right so whatever man let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fast on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace